The other day, we noticed Krishna left a request to cover DMX in the comment section of our last video. So, your wish is granted. That's what we'll be talking about today. DMX, a stock that went from just 20 cent in 2020 to 80 cent in August 2021. Many are wondering if this is just a speculative run or could it be the next multi-bagger stock on Bosa? Hi, I'm Frankie. Welcome back to my fuck show, Frankie Answers Questions. Today, we will talk about DNEX, its significant rise in share price, the Sutera deal, the future prospect, and if it is an investment worth your money. Give it to me, I'm worth it. Question 1 What is DNEX? What do they do? DNEX has always been known for two businesses, oil and gas upstream and IT services. On the oil and gas side, they own a 90% subsidiary called Pink Petroleum Limited, which has projects with other upstream oil and gas companies such as Hibiscus Petroleum and Sumitomo Japan. On their IT business, they are one of the key service providers for electronic custom-related transactions and duty payments. But this is not the main story for today. Today, we want to talk about their new venture into the semi Conductor supply chain with the acquisition of a stick in Sutera. The key reason behind the recent meteoric rise in share price. Question 2 What is Sutera? Sutera is a semiconductor wafer foundry. Before we go further, let me share with you some fun facts about Sutera before the next acquisition. The company was formed in 1995 to help Malaysia to achieve its aspiration as a developed nation. However, that did not happen. Instead, Sutera became a loss-making company with a cumulated loss of 5.5 billion ringgit from 2008 up to 2017, making it the second largest loss-making investment for Kazana, right behind Malaysia Airlines. A supposed national pride that kind of turned into a national disaster. You were the chosen one! Now you know why they are a national strategic asset that you never heard of. Anyways, going back to the story, in 2016, our former Prime Minister Najib Raza announced that they would be selling off Sutera since it was making a big hole in Kazana's portfolio. However, due to its status as a national asset, there were some hurdles in the sales process. It was not until 2021 when DNEX, together with CGP Fund, managed to acquire Sutera for a sum of 273 million ringgit. Question 3. Who is CGP Fund? CGP Fund is a China-based government-guided fund. What is a government-guided fund? This one? Another story. We will be covering more of that in our webinar on the 20th of August. If you want to know more, check out on the link below. Anyways, in short, CGP is indirectly owned by the Chinese government. According to DNEX's website, we were told that CGP has the experience in acquiring strategic assets, putting in the necessary resources, and successfully turning businesses around, including Silex Microsystem and Chip One. Hey, if you are sharp, you must realize that the name Chip One sounds familiar, right? Hey, I've seen this one. I've seen this one. This is a classic. On the 4th of August 2021, DNEX sealed a long-term multi-year wafer supply and purchase agreement with Chip One Technology Co. Limited, valued at more than 400 million US dollars. That amount is more than 50% higher than DNEX's market cap today. DNEX's plan is to improve Sutera's efficiencies and increase operational capacity while leveraging on CGP's network to secure long-term supply contracts and strategic customers. So next time, if you heard DNEX securing a deal from say, Silex Microsystems or any Chinese semiconductor companies, well, you know that it's kind of expected. Question 4. So what is the hype with DNEX now? To understand the hype, I need to paint some context of the development in the semiconductor industry over the recent years. Prior to 2015, the industry was chasing smaller and more powerful chips because we all want our mobile devices to be smarter and smaller. During this time, most, if not all wafer facts, focus all their resources on the more advanced and expensive 300mm wafer fabrication. Wafer fabs who did not follow the path and continue producing the cheaper 200mm wafers 
were falling behind. This was the reason why Sutera registered huge losses during those years. Then came the Internet of Things revolution which led to a growth in demand for legacy 200mm wafers, which is cheaper to produce. The ones lost making Sutera started to see light at the end of the tunnel. Remember the recent global chip shortage that we are facing today? That is the kind of chip that Sutera can fabricate and that is what the hype is all about. In fact, when Sutera was sold for 273 million ringgit, our ex-PM Najib made a statement to criticize the current government for selling the national asset at such a cheap price. Even it had made a cumulative profit of 700 million ringgit from 2014 to 2017. Stupid! I tak nak cakap banyak lah. Question 5. What is the potential of DNEX? If you just talk about DNEX prior to the acquisition of Sutera, there isn't much to talk about. In my opinion, the whole potential and excitement comes from Sutera. Today, the market is excited about the Internet of Things. This means more and more things will require chips to operate. Maybe one day, even your toilet bowl also got chip. Eh? That one also got already. 80% of Japanese homes had an electronic toilet. The point is, the world is in a shortage of 200mm wafers. Many thought that this shortage only came during the COVID-19 pandemic. However, it has been a problem since 2015. It was a ticking time bomb that happened to explode during the pandemic. To fully understand the opportunity of semiconductor industry, it's going to be a long story. So we will leave it to the webinar. If you want to learn more, you can join us in the How to Invest in Tech stock webinar and it's free thanks to our sponsor M Equities the brokerage arm of M Investment Bank so don't forget to sign up see you there on top of the cheap supply shortage there are also some political factors that enhance the potential of Sutera since Donald Trump became the US president in 2016 he sparked a tech war with China as a consequence many predict that the future technology supply chain will be divided into two camps the US camp and the China camp this puts Sutera in a sweet spot since Malaysia enjoys good relationship with both countries. It is hard to explain the potential of Sutera as an outsider of the semiconductor business. Probably it will be easier to tackle this question by looking at the bidders during the sales process. There were four companies involved. Out of the four bidders, two are local companies with China backing. We all know the outcome. VNEX came out as a winner with the backing of CGP Fund, a China government guided fund house. Question 6. What do you think is the value of VNEX? We talk about the bidding process that involved four companies desperately eyeing on the juicy meat of Sutera. One of them being Foxconn, the largest electronic manufacturer in the world. Here's another fun fact for you. After they lost the bid to acquire Sutera, the company did not give up on owning a slice of it. They went on to acquire 5% ownership of DNEX at 90 cents per share, which was a 5.9% premium to DNEX closing price at 85.5 cents on the 10th of June 2021. So, I don't know the value of DNEX, but that's what Foxconn was willing to pay. Question 7 DNEX can buy? Hi. I already said I don't know the value of DNEX, so how do I know whether DNEX can buy or not? Eh? But let me summarize the important points to help you analyze the company. First, it seems like the company up north die die wanted to buy Sutera. After the acquisition, immediately we can see them giving big contracts to DNEX already. And that is just the start. On the other hand, Foxconn also die die wanted to get a piece of Sutera. They are willing to pay a premium and acquire DNEX stocks which comes with unrelated businesses just to get a foot into Sutera. According to what I read, it may have something to do with Foxconn's plan to venture into EV manufacturing. On top of that, there are also overall shortage of supply in the specific wafer that Sutera can produce. So, combine all that information with the valuation of DNEX price today, what do you think? It's your investment, you make the decision. Eh, hey, by the way, uh, have you noticed that Malaysian has been playing more and more roles in the EV supply chain? I could be wrong, but it seems to be driving the growth of Malaysia's tech industry. Maybe that's why company like Lam Research has announced that they will be setting up shop in Malaysia. Coincidence? I think not! That's all we have for today. Hashtag fun.